Hey and welcome back to the channel. It is almost time. What is it almost time for you might ask? It's almost time for the fall overseed in my cool season lawn. So switching gears from the Bermuda content a little bit and going to start getting ready for the fall overseed and renovations back here in my backyard. So today I wanted to take the time to kind of walk you through a little bit of the history of what this lawn looked like when I bought this property in this house, what I've done to it since then, and what my plans are for this fall. So let's turn the camera around and I'm going to walk you through a little bit of history and what I've done so far in this lawn. All right, so let's get right into it. So quick history, moved into this property late 2020. This is the first view that I had when we looked at the house, looked at this staircase right here, and up above it was nothing but just dirt moss, leaves, tree leaves, trash, uh, busted up swing set and playground. And most people would have said, wow, what a mess. I said, what an opportunity. So let's walk around and I'm gonna show you what I've done since purchasing this property. So this lawn's come along a little bit over here. We did have some grass uh, below this wall, but it was pretty, pretty patchy. And honestly, it still is. I'm pretty happy with how it's come out of the season. There's a lot of Poa Trivialis in this area. This area gets a lot of rain and kind of water runoff, I guess you might say. But let's go up the staircase and I'll show you what I've done up here. Actually, let me backtrack. Try to lace in some pictures of this um, wall when I first bought the house. This wall was just covered; it had moss all over it. it. Looked like some sort of ancient ruin. So one of the first things I did before I did anything to the lawn is I got the power washer out and just gave it a good, good power wash. And this is what it looks like a year later. Still looks really good. These shrubs are gardenias, and look how big they are. These are not a dwarf variety at all, but they were sawed down to the stump when I bought the place and they had grown up maybe just a, about six inches to a foot. I'll show a picture of what they look like. And this is the first year, last year they didn't bloom at all. This year we had some really nice uh, flowers. Uh, if you've ever had gardenias, they're a real fragrant plant. So this is what the lawn looks like coming out of the summer. There's some some die off out here and some thinning but there is some grass left which I'm really excited about going into the the fall I can actually do a proper overseed this year this was nothing but just moss dirt and um, just eroded debris there was an old fire pit up here that I may rebuild um, so first thing I did a spring overseed the 2021 I used Jonathan Green Shady Nooks grass seed was very pleased with the performance I had a tough spring there was a lot of heavy rain heavy runoff I'll flash some pictures up of what this area looked like it was really bad but we did get some grass to establish and come in last year last fall I did a overseed with another uh, bag of Jonathan Green Shady Nooks grass seed I reset the posts, bought two new posts and reset for this swing. I'm no carpenter, doesn't look perfect, but got it cleaned and stained. I'll show a picture of what this looked like when we bought the place. First thing I did when we moved in, my kids needed somewhere to play, so uh, true story. So let me back up a little bit. So interesting story. So yeah, this thing was was crooked and busted up. This playground had a new post installed and a cross beam and it was all busted to heck. And was raking leaves out here one day and the, the neighbor said, hey, yeah, the guy who lived here before, he uh, had a tractor and liked to drink beer. So he ran into all of this apparently with a, a tractor and, and I decided I would see if I could fix it. So I got a bunch of wood and started taking things apart. I'll flash a picture of what this looked like and pieced it back together. I'm no woodworker or carpenter, but it turned out pretty good. Kids have loved it. So 
definitely my recommendation when you're in your backyard. Remember, this backyard is, you know, the lawn doesn't look that great right now. It'll look great in the fall, but you know, this backyard is a place for the family and the kids to, to play. So that's really what's number one to me. So i um, just happy that I do have some grass that's left over here after a tough, um, warm summer. So you can see one of the battles that I have. I'm going to do a pH test on this pretty soon. I get a lot of of, uh, of moss, and that's a really a big challenge that you have with a shady yard. And that's one of the biggest challenges overall with this backyard is look at all these mature trees. They do not let a lot of light through those canopies. Um, one thing you do need to do, you can see you know, these trees right here, I've taken the canopies up using a pole saw that goes about you know, 15 to 16 feet in the air and just go as high as you can up to about 20 or so feet to let as much of that sunlight that you can come in and that'll give you the best shot at actually having some kind of lawn. But I'm just pleased that I do have some grass that made it. Once you get further back, I was trying to establish a lawn back here behind the playground just to keep things from getting too muddy but I ended up having to kind of scrap that this year I think I'm just gonna do a, a mulch around the playground and kind of just let the lawn stop somewhere in this vicinity of the playground um, I've got full irrigation including up here I've got several uh, rotors one there one there there's some along this hillside this is the only rotor I've got out here. I do plan to either do it myself or get an irrigation company out here and maybe add a rotor over there where that little pole is. Right now I'm kind of looking at bringing my lawn border right around here. That's where I think it used to be. And then kind of looping it through this way. And I think I want to do another sitting fire pit area one of the challenges I also have in this yard is you kind of see I've got a negative slope, I guess, going towards my house. That's why the retaining wall was put in in the first place. Um, this area gets a lot of water, storm runoff. Both sides of my property have, are actually easements. They're neighborhood drainage easements. So that side and this side, I'll flash some footage of what that looks like when it rains. So definitely a consideration here is how does this water come off of this yard definitely have to keep that in mind as I'm getting ready to kind of set my boundaries of where I want the lawn to be this fall so as far as future plans so we're just definitely going to go with a sitting area build another fire pit we're going to overseed this fall with two different varieties of seed I've got the shady nooks on order and I've got another mystery seed that I'll introduce when it arrives i've got something that's going to help i think with some of these areas like right above this wall right above this part of the wall and then below the wall we end up getting a lot more sun than i originally had thought so i'm going to use a different variety of cool season grass and i'll show you that in an upcoming video I am fortunate though when we walked back here and looked at the house I saw some old irrigation heads and very lucky that this property has a full irrigation system I'll show you the controller for that it's located right here on the back of the house and it's old but it works great I had to do some repairs we replaced a couple of rotors replaced a couple of the sprays and pretty cool this thing has an eight zone you can kind of see the eight different zones right there they're all labeled luckily and it covers the uh, about 99 percent of this property so one thing that's invaluable when doing the overseeding or having a shady yard is you definitely need some irrigation so these big trees will out compete the turf grass almost every step of the way for whatever kind of water is here so it's definitely a must to have uh, irrigation or to irrigate your yard properly if you've got a lot of shade so future plans up here i do have an irrigation head 
back here, you can tell that at one point this yard probably didn't have as much tree cover as it does now, but the sun comes in here enough. I think I'm going to end up relocating this head. There's a head on the other side of the fence over here. I want to bring those in a little bit, maybe make a landscape area here. Not sure you can see how there's just not enough sunlight to, to have grass right here. It's just bare dirt. And this area was completely green and overseeded last fall and I even seeded all the way up through to the gate over there and it's just gone there's just not enough sunlight you got to be realistic about your lawn if it's shady and you're not getting enough sunlight it's just not gonna it's just not gonna grow and perform well no matter what kind of seed you definitely need to make sure you're choosing a seed that's made for shade um, fine fescues hard fescues as they're called are some of the best they're just not very traffic tolerant. That's some of my problems up here on this part of the yard. My kids love to run and play, so you can really kind of see the areas that their feet have uh, worn down. Um, but that's just kind of par for the course and just something you have to learn to, to deal with. Every year overseeding is going to be um, absolutely necessary on a lawn like this in the south where it's very hot and then you got all the shade that you're working with this lawn's going to have to be overseeded every season to thicken it back up in the fall and prep it for the next year. All right, well, enough of me talking about the plans and the yard. Next video, I hope to show you the seed selection, and then we'll get into the actual overseeding and some of the prep and the how-tos on that. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.